2023 Porsche Taycan Review, where the E in EV means excellent. Despite being a relative newcomer to the performance EV sedan genre in the USA, Porsche's Taycan made an immediate impact. A good-looking and comfortable cabin, authentic Porsche driver engagement, and strong performance combined to make the Taycan a very compelling choice. The Porsche Taycan's competitors include the Lucid Air, Audi e-tron GT, and Tesla Model S, which all pose a serious challenge to the battery-powered Porsche. This Porsche Taycan review will focus on the three lower-end sedan models, but the Taycan Cross and Sport Turismo as well as the turbo-badged extra-high performance models are covered in separate reviews. In its lower trim levels, the Taycan can be had with either one or two motors, and with a choice between two battery sizes, to offer a variety of performance levels and fit into different price brackets. Motor outputs vary between 321 horsepower, 402 horsepower with overboost, in the base car to 509 horsepower, 590 horsepower with overboost, in the Taycan GTS. It's a superb electric sports sedan fully deserving of the Porsche name, despite its limited driving range. 2023 Porsche Taycan changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 Taycan? The new 2023 Porsche Taycan sedan carries over mostly unchanged from 2022, but software tweaks have increased power output and driving range, and reduced charge time on some models. This is partly due to the front electric motor now being disengaged in normal and range drive modes, and could extend the battery range by up to 14.5%. More importantly, a new 19.2 kW onboard fast charger is now available as an option on a new Taycan, which could potentially have the charge time via a compatible level 2 AC charger. These upgrades can be retroactively applied to 2020 to 2022 Taycans as well, but will incur an added cost of $1,850 plus about 12 hours of labor on older examples. The embedded navigation can now also filter available charging stations by output. The infotainment system gets new software and a redesigned interface that is easier to use and it now incorporates wireless Android Auto. Last year's 19-inch aero wheels are no longer available on the 2023 Taycan and the base trim gets new alloy wheels. Porsche's variable light control option is now optionally available on any Taycan with the panoramic glass roof, not just on the GTS as before. It allows the roof's glass to be changed from transparent to opaque at the touch of a toggle. Pros and Cons Performance ranges from rapid to scorching. Handles like a sports car. Build quality matches the price. Potential for very quick recharging. Practical design with two trunks. Rear seat space a bit tight. Very expensive. Low roof makes for difficult access. Rivals offer longer battery range. 2023 Porsche Taycan Handling and Driving Impressions With up to 402 horsepower on overboost, even the base single-motor RWD Porsche Taycan can get to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds. The mid-level, dual-motor AWD Taycan 4S with up to 522 horsepower drops that to 3.8 seconds and the Taycan GTS with up to 590 horsepower takes just 3.5 seconds. With up to 254 lb-ft of torque, the single-motor Taycan's overtaking performance is good but not outstanding for this segment. The dual-motor 4S is significantly stronger with up to 472 lb-ft and the Taycan GTS has 626 lbft to make overtaking maneuvers a breeze. Seeing as the Taycan's batteries are mounted very close to the ground, the basics for excellent handling are in place from the outset. The reality confirms this theory, with flat cornering, very high grip levels, a neutral overall balance, and a surprisingly supple ride with it. There's even some feedback through the steering wheel, while the Taycan is eager to change direction with an immediacy of a sports car. It's not a 911 or a Cayman, but it comes very close and carries more passengers and luggage. If you want a sedan that drives like a Porsche, the Taycan won't disappoint even if the base model isn't quite as lively as you'd want for the money. 2023 Taycan Exterior Porsche's exterior designs are nothing if not iconic. The 911 is so recognizable that you could identify it merely by looking at an outline sketch. 
With the Taycan being the German manufacturer's first EV, it had to do something different while still retaining Porsche's design DNA. Somehow, the designers managed to pull it off. The Taycan is something completely new, but still inherently Porsche. It sits low to the ground and it has a wide stance. The LED headlights have Porsche's signature daytime running lights. At the rear, there's a narrow light strip, neatly integrating the Porsche logo. The rear shoulders make a powerful statement, while the lack of an exhaust pipe looks slightly odd on a car with such an aggressive design. The base variant comes fitted with standard features like 19-inch wheels and those aggressive vertical air curtains in front. Dimensions The Taycan is 195.4 inches long, with a wheelbase of 114.2 inches. It's got a width of 77.5 inches with the side mirrors folded but is only 54.9 inches tall. The 4S variant is marginally shorter at 54.3 inches in height. To put that into perspective, the regular Panamera is 3.4 inches longer in terms of overall length and around 2 inches longer in the wheelbase department. With its considerable dimensions and battery pack, the Taycan is a hefty beast, but that's true for all EVs. The lightest Taycan is the entry-level model, weighing 4,568 pounds with the standard performance battery. The heaviest standard model is the Taycan 4S with the performance battery plus with a curb weight of 4,949 pounds. 2023 Taycan Interior The Taycan's interior is nearly fully digital. The only traditional buttons left are the ones located on the steering wheel. There are two screens located in the center console. The top screen takes care of all the infotainment, while the bottom screen takes care of the climate control. Even the instrument cluster is digital, and the absence of the traditionally centrally located tachometer in a Porsche is strange. If three screens aren't enough, you can also add another screen in front of the passenger seat to keep them occupied on longer journeys. The rest of the car is traditional Porsche, which is a good thing. The build quality is superb, the seats are supportive in all the right places, and you get a generous helping of standard features. The only drawback is the slight lack of space for rear passengers. Seating and interior space The Taycan has a standard 2 plus 2 layout, but you have the option of fitting a small middle seat to increase the capacity to 5. The Taycan does a fine job of feeling sporty even when standing still. The front seats are mounted low to the ground, which is impressive considering that there's also a large battery beneath the floor. The front legroom is generous, but you notice the difference in wheelbase size between the Taycan and the Panamera in the rear. The sloping roof isn't ideal for rear passengers, but only people over 6 feet will find it uncomfortable. The standard heated front seats come with 8-way power adjustment, but 14-way comfort seats and 18-way sports seats are available. The view from the driver's seat is good, but the high parcel shelf obstructs the view out of the back somewhat. The 2023 Porsche Taycan has three mainstream sedan trim levels, although turbo-badged sedans and wagon-shaped sport turismos are also available. The range opens with the Taycan, which has a single-motor RWD setup giving up to 402 HP-254 LBFT, progresses to the dual-motor AWD Taycan 4S with up to 522 HP-472 LBFT, and is capped by the GTS, which produces up to 509 HP-626 LBFT. These figures are all quoted in overboost mode, which adds about 80 horsepower to the non-overboost figures. The base Taycan is fairly well-stocked with features. Its standard specification includes 19-inch alloy wheels, adaptive dampers, dual-zone climate control, 8-way power adjustable and heated front seats, partial leather upholstery, automatic LED headlights, a leather sports steering wheel, a 16.8-inch curved digital gauge cluster, a 10.9-inch infotainment touchscreen, an 8.4-inch auxiliary and HVAC touchscreen, and a 10-speaker audio system, embedded online navigation, wired Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, and wireless charging pad. Moving up through the range, more standard features are added, such as keyless entry, adaptive headlights, adaptive air suspension, 20-inch wheels, and sports front seats. The GTS trim also receives rear axle torque vectoring and sports suspension. 
Standard safety equipment includes forward collision mitigation with automatic braking, lane keeping assist, a rear view camera, road sign recognition, and parking sensors on both front and rear. Options include a head up display, surround view camera, night vision, and adaptive cruise control. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.